On Capitol Hill, key lawmakers from both parties proclaimed a deal aimed at averting financial panic with a wholesale buy-up of shaky mortgages and other loans. We believe that we're prepared to act expeditiously on a package to our colleagues. Soon after, President Bush convened a White House summit, joined by Barack Obama at one end of the cabinet table, John McCain at the other. All of us around the table take this issue very seriously. And we know we've got to get something done as quickly as possible. But hope of a quick deal was scotched by GOP conservatives, appalled by the $700 billion price tag. Uh, there's still a lot, a lot of different opinions. Uh, mine is it's flawed from the beginning. The president acknowledges this is a tough vote, with lawmakers getting an earful from the folks at home about the massive cost of bailing out foolish or crafty lenders, which is why he's enlisted the candidates to succeed him in hopes of selling the idea. However, House Republicans countered with a plan not to buy all the loans but insure them, which left Democrats calling the White House session a time-wasting campaign photo op. John McCain did nothing to help. He only hurt the process. However, McCain shrugged off that view. Members are aware of the crisis situation that we're in. They do have concerns, which I think when you're talking about $700 billion or a trillion dollars, that need to be addressed. So this is a genuine, bipartisan, bicameral agreement. Lacking a final deal, McCain says he won't join the first presidential debate in Mississippi. Obama says he hopes his foe does show up. One of us is going to be in charge of this mess in four months. And the American people, I think, not only have a right but an obligation to find out uh, where we want to take the country and what we believe. He says he guarantees it'll be 90 minutes well spent. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.